Hi there, welcome to our beginner's guide for the Smock RPM40. First off, we're going to go over what's inside the box. Inside the box, you've got a user manual, warranty card, the device itself, a charging cable. You can charge up the device from the charging port at the base of the mod. You also have two different pods here. One takes the RPM coils, which tend to be a little bit higher powered, and one takes the Nord coils. The RPM is what we're going to be using today for our demonstration. So first off, we're going to show you how to fill and adjust and use the device for the first time. So first thing we're going to do is grab this pod here and we're going to take out the coil at the base, just grabbing it there and pulling it out. And the reason we're doing this is to look at the coil and see what the wattage is. So you might be able to see there it says best 25W. That means best at 25 watts. So that's what we're going to set our device to later on, just so we know. So we'll take the coil and we'll make sure it lines up. We'll push it back in, make sure it's all nice and snug there. That's, that's good to go. So because this coil that we're using here is a high wattage coil, it's for direct to long use, we're going to be using a high VG liquid. So anything um, 50 VG or higher, or ideally 70 VG or higher would be perfect for this. Um, the other coil that's in here runs at 20 watts and can kind of do a bit of both. It can do a little bit of direct to lung or a more cigarette style mouth to lung inhale. Um, but really, I would say 50 VG is, is a minimum for any coil for this device is what you're really looking for. So we're going to go with this one and we're going to use a high VG liquid. So filling up is nice and easy. We just grab the end of this red tab here at the side and pull it open like so. There's a little fill hole there. We're just going to grab our liquid, pop the nib down into that fill hole and just squeeze to fill the, the pod up. Once we're done, we'll take that red bit, close that down, make sure it clicks secure. And we're going to leave that standing upright for about 10 minutes to let the liquid soak in. Right, that's been about 10 minutes now. So we're going to take the pod, clip it into the device, and that's us ready to go. So we're going to turn the device on with five clicks on this top button here. One, two, three, four, five. The screen will light up and show a couple of things. Cool. So this is our main menu here. The first thing we want to do is adjust the wattage. So when we check the coil, it said best at 25 watts. We're going to use the up and down buttons here to set it to 25 watts. There we go. Check it there. And then that's us ready to go. All we do is press the button, inhale at the same time. And once we're done, release. Perfect. There we go. When we're not using the device, we do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five. Click that five times. That'll power the device off. And that just makes sure that if it's in a bag or a pocket or something, nothing's going to accidentally press it and uh, burn out the coil early. Nothing like that. Next up, we're going to cover changing the coil. So why do you need to change the coil? So the coil needs to be changed just due to the way that the, the process actually works, the way the, the liquid is turned into a vapour. Um, this can cause a kind of a deposit, a build up on the coil itself. And over time, this will degrade the performance and you'll need to change the coil. So how do we know when it's time to actually change the coil? Um, a couple of different things. The most notable one is that the flavour will be degraded. Um, it won't taste as good as it did when it was a fresh coil. Um, it may also taste kind of burnt when it gets right, right to the end of its lifespan. Um, when you're inhaling, you may notice that it feels like it's kind of um, gurgling or bubbling almost, or it may, may also sort of be spitting at you a little bit. Um, you may also find that it's, it's kind of leaking a little bit as well. That's usually a sign that it's very much time to change the coil. So now that we know the why and when of changing the coil, let's go over how to actually do that. It's nice and easy. Um, first thing you want to do is make sure that the, the tank, the pot is totally empty or as close as you can get. If not, make sure you do this over a sink or a bit of kitchen towel just to make sure you don't make a mess. So we'll grab the pod here, wiggle it out from the top side of that. And then just like we did at the start to check the wattage of the coil, I'm just going to grab the coil at the base here and pull it out. Simple as that. We'll pop that to one side. We'll grab our new one here. Squeeze that in there, make sure it lines up and it clicks. Pop that back in there and that's us good to go. So we just need to fill it again, leave it for 10 minutes, make sure we set our settings correct for the coil that we've got and that's us ready to go again. Nice and easy. Um, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to speak to one of our expert staff members in store or contact us online. Thanks.